yo, 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 yo. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Welcome. Let's go, baby. Paul, it's so nice <laughs> to be here with you and with everybody. I cannot believe that we are having back-to-back -back legends, Ron Carroll and Paul Johnson, in the same That's stream. That just literally blows my yeah. mind. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We are so close to that $3,000 mark. Keep donating. This is for the Night Ministry of Chicago. It's a really great cause, especially in this very cold winter. So I know we want to get back to the music, but Paul, I have some questions for you, Absolutely. if that's Go okay. Ahead. It's such a, such a privilege to, to speak with yourself and with Ron earlier. It's amazing. Thank you so much for doing Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Thank you, baby. So, so let's, let's right, get right into it. There's something that I've heard among my peer circles, you know, in the music scene. They call it that Paul Johnson sound. I've heard that many times. Can you tell me what, what that Paul Johnson sound is? I have no fucking <laughs> idea. <laughs> I really don't know. I think what it is is in 1984, I taught myself how to spin. Like just by listening to the radio, Farley, watching my cousin in his room, watching Ferris Thomas. Mm -hmm. And I just watched everybody. And I said, okay, if I do it, I'm doing it like this. And that was just it. When I was 13, I taught myself this way. And that's it. I just made. I never planned anything. I just play. I just go through folders and play. Like wow. when I used to spin records, I never looked in the crate. I just did this, reached in it, and just pulled something out. Wow. Because I know what I want to hear. I think that's what it is in my ear that is, of picking yep. music. Yep. Maybe that's what they're talking about. That is. That's the Because I just Paul bang. I don't, I don't want to play no half bullshit. Uh, I want to bang. Because I, uh, yeah. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> that so, is just not impressive at right, all. Right, exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. It's That's gotta amazing. Bang for me to play it. That's amazing. <laughs> wow. Talent. True talent. So, you know, you've had this privilege to be in the music game for so long. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious to know, now, you know, in this, not just the pandemic, but in the age of social media, I, low-key, I follow you on Instagram and I laugh at your posts like every day because you have such a big personality. How are you able to connect with your fans now on this different level? I mean, they get to... They kind of get to see the real you through your yeah. social. Well, they know they know that I keep it real. Like, there's no reason to be fake out here. I don't have an ego. I killed them in 1988 because that motherfucker tried to take over. Fuck all that. It's me. <laughs> and they, they, they know that they get me. Like, I, I don't sugarcoat anything. I don't hide anything. I tell it like it is, straight up. And I just keep the music real. I'm doing this for you guys. I love you. That's uh, why I'm doing it. And we are so appreciative. And if you ever, uh, if there's ever a current event for those watching out there, uh, tune into Paul Johnson's Instagram because he's gonna have something to say about it. Absolutely. <laughs> and don't forget, this is my home. We're at my home right now, Lake Nocturne. Francois came to Chicago, yes. opened this club for me to you. be the resident. You and you were the first. And I love him for that. Hell yeah. yeah. Big this love is my to home, Nocturne. Chicago. It's amazing. And everybody's been here playing. I fucking love that you have been here to play on this system. Now that you see, when we finally open back up fully, yeah. I want all you motherfuckers to play on my night. I'm going to have to double my night. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to I, double it to twice a month. I'm going to so be I can there. So get everybody to play with me. I love that. I love that. Hell yeah. So this is a question I also asked Ron. It's not my question. It's my. It's a question from Jeff Harris. Okay. Juju. He played at 3 a.m. and now he's hustling, coaching basketball. So he's he's a he's nice. a monster. He asked, and I'm gonna read it because I want to get it right. He wants to know what you think we can do as a community to open house music culture up back to black kids and let them have this musical outlet. Hmm. What we can do is hire the black DJs in these mm -hmm. upscale clubs. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. They don't see themselves. So how can they come party if they don't see themselves? It's the same as television. Yep. You hire who plays for them. Yeah. It's representation. It's so simple. Mm -hmm. It's Rep just representation like you said. Yep, yep. And, and that easy. Like we talked about before, there would be no house music without black creators. Exactly. Like Plain all you simple. have to do is make a list of maybe ten or twenty black professionals there are a lot of us here oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah and just sprinkle us in the club it just takes that's a little it. effort it takes a little effort sprinkle us through the clubs that's absolutely. all it is absolutely I we hope don't, we're not even asking for it but that's right. what it takes yep i hope people are listening to that mm -hmm. you know listen god damn it yes listen please we're right fucking here <laughs> i had somebody tell me on instagram yesterday i promise you i promise you no no on uh twitch he said 
I wish I could read. Wait a matter of fact, let me read this. I got to get up. this shit straight. You're not going to believe this. Hold on. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Hold on. I'm patient. Ron doing the Jeopardy musical. Is that Jeopardy? That's Jeopardy. Okay, that's Jeopardy. <laughs> he said, <laughs> I have never, I didn't know about any black house or techno DJs until recent. Yikes. Like in the last few months, and he's been booking DJs for years. Yikes. So he's never heard of Frankie Knuckles. In the southern Knuckles. part of America, yeah. Yikes. I said, what the that hell are you talking about? We started this. Absolutely. How did you not hear about any of us? Absolutely. He's like, when I first heard it, when I first heard it, it was like a breath of fresh air. I had knew I had been listening to the wrong music, and now I got the right music. So he just called himself he out, was, basically. Exactly. He that's was hiring white guys, yeah. and he finally found the truth. Yeah, that's embarrassing, <laughs> but at least now he knows. Exactly, at yeah. At least now he knows. I was like, knows. dude, how can you not know about it? We, we started yeah. this. He should feel lucky you didn't put his name out there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, well, I, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. I call people out. I call everybody motherfucker. I'm motherfucker too. So, but everybody's a motherfucker. Me too. Me too. Of course, you're a beautiful motherfucker. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, last question because I know you want to get to to DJing. Mm -hmm. So you've been described as a mentor for a lot of uh, people in this industry. There's mm -hmm. so many DJs that have, or you know, people who never DJ before but started taking advantage of the time they had off during mm -hmm. the pandemic to mm -hmm. get started. What's what's your advice for them? What what can they do? Keep going. Don't let anyone tell you different from what your thought plan is. If I listen to people back in the 80s, I'd be, I don't know, doctor somebody with a boring ass life or <laughs> some stupid like that. But when I was 13, I came to my parents literally. I looked them dead in the face and said, I don't want to go to church anymore because that's bullshit and y'all know it. I'm going to DJ for the rest of my life. And they, when I graduated eighth grade, they brought me my equipment. They knew I was real about it. Wow. I asked them to put me on punishment, punishment all summer so I could learn how to DJ. Wow. So right after summer, <laughs> when the fall came and school started in 80, uh, summer 85, I was already good at it. Damn. So I just instantly took off. That's dedication, and that's yeah. love from your parents. Yeah. Not everybody they, they, gets that support. Well, they knew everything I said I wanted to do. They always knew I was for real about it. That's amazing. When I wanted to play baseball, they knew. I did that for three years as a pitcher, won trophies. They knew. When I said I wanted to break dance, they knew. They let me go every day and that's do what amazing. I wanted to Not do. Not everybody has that support, so that's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your Absolutely. time. Absolutely. Thank so you, So excited baby. to hear you play. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Thank oh, it's about to be one. Y'all heard some incredible incredible DJs I fucking love it you Let's guys go. represent it so well but you're about to see what it's what it is right here <laughs> let's go god damn it
put your hand on somebody and just tell them, go! Oh! Yo, I see you guys in the chat. I see you, I see you. I love you guys. I can't talk, I'm focusing right now. Hell oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go.
tell you that I am house, I will always be house, I'll be house, and I'll be house, and for those of you for the first time experiencing house, know that you are all today, house music is a thing of rhythm and melody, it's a thing of beauty, house music gives you something to believe, it's something that you can share with your brother. It can even bring together a distant cousin. And how music can touch a child. There's no danger. Who said fights break out at our parties? That is incorrect. Some of you even think that house music is EDM. Try again. Shit. House music is what's birth, birth, EDM. You are correct. House music will bang forever. 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 House music will bang forever.
Yo, at the end of this mix, I want y'all to guess how many of these tracks I made that I played, and I'll tell you. <laughs> Forever.
Yes, I'm a DJ. Sure, you can say I'm a legend. I've been doing this for quite some time. I'm glad you enjoy yourself. Sure, sure. I'd be glad to meet her. Come back to my hotel. We can have some fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I'm off tomorrow, I have a tour to finish. You know how that is. See you next time. You might have already guess I made damn near all these motherfuckers. <laughs> I've been busy as hell in my studio, yo. I'll blend this one quickly since this is my last try, guys. I see my house electric. 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 I 
electric, I sing the house 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 electric. Yeah.